LeVar, you caught a lot of criticism. Tell us about your parenting style. Because parenting everybody says style. it's not it's not about the kids, it's about LeVar promoting Lamar. LeVar, tell us right. about your parenting style. Well, that's what everybody want to say, man. But if you have something that you created, tell me you're not going to talk about it. You make right. a cake. You're going to be like, man, I put the best ingredients. It's the best cake. I, I'll give you a scenario, man. Have you ever ate a chocolate chip cook, chocolate chip cookie? The yes. most famous one is who? Famous Amos. That boy took his stuff to parties and promoted like that. And next thing you know, it's the best chocolate chip cookie in the world. But that's the same thing I did with my boys. I could invest in some real estate and some other things. I don't want to do that. I want to invest millions of dollars, if you add it all up, into my boy, something that's mine. I tell you what, to save money, you probably paint your own house, do your own thing. If you ain't got no money, hurry up first. Right. You do it, and you're going to do a hell of a job. People will come in there and say, man, can you do mine? You'll be like, to make some money, you probably say, yeah, but then you'll be like, I don't know if it's going to be as good as mine, because I put my work 24 hours to make yeah, it this is mine. I this, want. this is where I live. So that's the same thing. Don't get mad at me that I do that with my boys. So I, I expect the best out of them. Why? Because I put the best time into them. But I'm never going to be like, I took an element out of my boys that, that creates, I'm going to tell you what, you do not go to Beverly Hills or Thousand Oaks or Chino Hills to get no killers. All the killers come from the ghetto. They have to come from nothing. Right. But I never was like, hey, son, I need you guys. And this is all the pressure they put on a lot of the youngsters. Hurry up and get us out of this situation that we're in. But I don't need my boys, hey, make the league so I can get out of Chino Hills. I mean, all these hills and all these swimming pools, you got to get us away from this. So they, <laughs> the money is not the thing. Everybody that's in the draft needs some money. They got to get it from these agents and all this stuff to get started because they never had it before. Right. So how do you make this guy be like, oh, man, a lot of them is playing for the money. Mine, I told them they born to go pro. And the only thing on their mind is being better than Jordan. It ain't about the money. You said you touched on something just a minute ago. Yes. Because they said, well, LeVar come from upper middle class and his kids are spoiled because right. they had swimming pools. They had, I mean, they're getting Ferraris, they're getting Lamborghinis. So right. how, they, how do they know what it's like to be hungry? How do they know what it's like to go without? I'll tell you what. If I see some fire come up and you said it's hot, I don't need to go get burnt to make sure it is hot. <laughs> it's the same thing. Right. Okay, my boys, I can tell them about it. Here's the thing. The mentality that's around my boys, I don't need them to take them to South Central to see all that. Right. They're living in Chino Hills, but the mentality is from a dude from LA South Central. Right. Mello is hanging with Jermaine. Jermaine is from the hood of Detroit. His mentality is different. Now, you're saying, don't be mad at me. If you win the lotto, you're going to go out and buy the most crazy car you're probably going to buy. Yes. And if you can afford to give them that, give them that. But now, see, my boys ain't getting to the league. Say, oh, I got some money I can buy a Ferrari. Oh, I got some. So that don't drive them. They just want to be the best ever. And if you want to be the best ever, all the materialistic things don't matter. So it's, it's not a big thing, but they're not spoiled on the fact that this is what I told my boys. You're going to work hard whether you do it in the beginning or the end. And everybody said, oh, LeVar don't let his kids be no goddamn kid. Let them go to the prom, let them go. Yeah, all them people to go to the prom, they ain't millionaires like my boys. <laughs> so hey, they running hard, running in heels. That's when they work hard. Don't have all these parties and go to the prom and now you're trying to make ends meet and at the end of your day, you, you're trying to get a job, go to college and see where you're going to be at. I got three boys. None of them is asking me for money. They, they young as hell and they're all millionaires. So what, what's bad in that? You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.